Hi. Um, I'm doing a second vlog. This is amazing. Anyway, um, I went to for the trial shift today. Um, to that restaurant. It's the tiniest place possible. They there were three servers apart from me, the manager, and the kitchen area, where there was. I don't know, seven people, eight people? It was horrible. There's not enough space to move around, not to mention get trained or anything. But yeah, I did go there. It was less scary than I expected. I don't know what I, what I was afraid about, what I was afraid of, and, and I don't really know how I did, to be honest. The main chef, the, the sushi chef and, and food chef, was standing there keeping an eye on everything. He was probably looking at me as well. And the manager, they're, they're both Japanese and whenever they speak to me I understand like every fifth word because they speak so fast and I just don't know what they're talking about but I, hopefully I didn't say anything incriminating. But yeah, I got paid in food. It was a pretty nice fish. I'm not a big fan of fish. I don't usually eat fish. I started eating fish when I was in Japan because that's basically all you get in Japan <laughs> apart from some pork and chicken maybe. It's mostly seafood. Um, but it was pretty nice. It kind of made me feel like um, Haruhi from Oran High School Host Club because I started thinking is this fatty tuna or is this regular tuna? Anyway it was a, like a fillet of fish fried or grilled or something and it was pretty nice I'm surprised how much I enjoyed it I thought I wasn't hungry but I ate that in like five minutes and it was like a proper whole takeaway I usually don't eat that much there was like four bed of rice and two fillets of, of grilled fish and it was delicious anyway they're gonna call me tomorrow and tell me if they want me to come back or not. So for now, that's done. Um, um, I've also left some CVs while I was in that part of town. There's two small cinemas there and then that might work out something. I don't know. I'm still waiting for a reply from the company I was at on Monday. But we'll see how that goes. And that's basically it. I still don't know what I was so afraid about. I, w I was just petrified. I was so scared that my stomach hurt this morning b before I went there. I don't know why. I don't know what was so scary about it, but for some reason I was petrified. And apart from the fact that it's a really, really busy place. I did the sh trial shift from 6 till 9 and it was fairly okay, like okay enough for another person to instruct me on doing things for an hour. And from 7 till 9, I'm pretty sure you're not going to get into that restaurant without a reservation because it's so busy and there, there, there are people queuing outside waiting to get in and it's just mental. <clears throat> but um, apart from that, it was pretty nice. Um, the other people working there seemed, well, one of them, the guy, whose name I can't remember, uh, he seemed nice enough to offer me a drink, like, when I was um, standing there, probably looking thirsty and tired and petrified and, and scared. And um, he was fairly nice. I, I feel like he was kind of similar to me because he was hiding out sometimes, but... He still does much more than I did. I Basically what I can do is clear the tables, wipe the, the dishes when they come back from downstairs from washing, and take out orders if someone tells me which table they go to. I've, I've nearly remembered the numbers of the tables. Nearly. Not yet, but nearly. <clears throat> but I can't take an order for shit. It's like, you know, they have this special type of, of 
doing shortcuts and abbreviations and they know what what it means and then they write it on write it on a whiteboard and shout out the order to the kitchen which is like half a meter away and there's seven people there plus the chef standing and looking at things and judging he was definitely judging me i'm sure he was but you know it was language practice i tried as hard as i could not to speak impolitely which is very easy to do when you're nervous and um yeah that's about it i'm not as miserable as i thought i would be i'm feeling a bit, a bit better today might be this but i don't know and um i'll let you know if they call me back or not and i'll probably talk to you tomorrow